Luna, do you like that Fuji allowed in camera SD card F lock recording? Yeah? You seem very enthused by it. Are you excited as I am? Okay. What's going on, guys? So, Fuji released the new version 4 firmware today, and I'm loving it. F-Log internal recording to SD card, and focus bracketing, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, and 120 frame per second 1080p recording. Uh, takes the 120 frames per second and puts it right to a uh, 24, 30, or 60 frame per second uh, timeline. So that's pretty awesome. So right now I'm recording on the Fuji doing a selfie thing. Uh, we'll We'll see how it works out. Um, <clears throat> basically, Fuji are giving us some features that the X-H1 already has. Obviously, we have no in-body image stabilization, which is okay. You know, the lenses have image stabilization, or some of them do. Um, I love my X-T2. I'm shooting right now without the battery grip with the 18 to 55 millimeter f2.8 4 lens. And uh, yeah, and a Rode Video Micro on top. Uh, I've got a Joby Gorillapod underneath of it walking. But I found one flaw already. So I have an external monitor, I have the small HD focus. I recorded about 10 minutes of video, uh, I don't know, about a half hour ago. And I recorded it to the SD card. It was F-Log. Sorry, it's a little windy. We'll see how this, uh, how the microphone does. But recorded it all internally, I was excited. It looked good on the screen. Um, I have a, I have LUTs or I have a LUT on my um, small HD focus. Really excited uh, because, so what I figured out you had to do was to basically uh, output the 4K over the HDMI in order for the monitor to see it. The only one problem. When I went to see what my footage looked like, there was nothing recorded onto the SD card. So it's very weird. The camera will say that it's recording will show that it's recording on the screen, on both screens at the same time. Obviously the, uh, the small HD focus is not recording anything, but the camera should be. But it doesn't record the log internally. Instead, it thinks that it's recording it over HDMI, and you end up with no footage, even though it shows that it's recording. So that is a, is a major, major flaw that needs to be corrected because well, it just makes no sense. So I have to, I have to vlog without a monitor now because I can't put it over HDMI, which really sucks. Well, if you're doing F-Log, I should say, you can do it normally with regular, you know, uh, regular uh, photo simulations, whatever, but you can't do it through F-Log. Uh, instead of using it without using a screen, one of the ways I'm trying to notice how, how well I'm doing here is that I have a CPL filter on my lens and I can see my mouth. I have to, if I can see basically this area, I know I'm about right. So, uh, finally at the top of the neighborhood, we'll see what the 120 frame per second 1080 looks like.
So you cannot use a small HD focus or any non-external recording monitor to do F-Log or record F-Log internally on the X-T2. That sucks. Found that out the hard way. Like I said, it recorded like 10, 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> recorded so much stuff and uh, got nothing out of it. Nothing. But it is what it is. And uh, I, But I'm happy, I'm excited regardless that I can record F-Log internally now. But Fuji, if you could just give us like version 4.01, which allows us to output 4K to an, via HDMI while still recording F-Log on the SD card. Long shot, I'm sure, but oh well. Kid can dream, can he? We'll see how F-Log stands up. Uh, I want to I want to kind of pit it against the GH5 a little bit. Obviously, not comparable. This is 8-bit. You know, 420, I believe, maybe 422. I think it's 8 bit 420 versus the Canon, or I'm uh, sorry, the GH5 doing 8 bit, 10 bit 422. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.